So this is an egg loop knot right here. This will secure any kind of your soft baits just like this. And it will secure it on the hook so fish can't just tug it off. This is an awesome way to keep your, your soft baits securely attached to your hook. All right guys, I'm gonna show you quickly how I tie the egg loop knot. This knot is pretty easy to do. I'm gonna do it on this colored line so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. First, you wanna start out with about four feet of leader line. Then, we're gonna take our hook in our left hand, our line in our right hand. We're gonna put the tail end through, just like that. Pinch it just like that, so that you can hold the line on the hook like that, right? Now what we're gonna do is take this tag end right here, Wrap it about seven to 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Meanwhile, you're still holding this tag end all in place, right? You don't want this stuff to go loose. So keep, keep it tight, keep it tight. Now after this part, you're gonna wanna take this tag end right here and put it through the opposite way, just like that. And you wanna do it just a little bit, just like that. Right Now we're gonna take this end and, and hold it down on the, on the hook as well, just like this. Hold it down. Now, this is the last step and one of the hardest steps to get correct because you need to hold everything tight. But you're gonna take this line right here, this line, and wrap it seven to 10 times as well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now <clears throat> tightening it. That's gonna be the trickiest part because you want everything to stay tight. So I start pulling while pinching at the same time. Nice and slow, There's no, you don't need to do it really fast. There's no point. Nice and easy. There we go, you see that? Look at that, look at that. Look at how they stack perfectly like that, right? That's your egg loop knot because look what you got right here. That's where you're gonna put any of your soft baits in here. And it stays on when you have it on your hook like that. So whenever the fish inhales your soft bait, it'll inhale the whole hook too. This way you can put bait on the hook and in the loop as well. That's the egg loop in a nutshell. Now let's see how this works on the field. What's up guys? We're here in Southern Maryland using fresh peeler crabs for bait. And I've heard that these are really, really good bait for striped bass, for white perch, for pretty much everything in this area. So let's, let's dig in, let's see how to use these. We're here today with our, fr our, our friend Hook Junkie, Andreas. Um, he has been catching a lot of fish in this location and uh, he wanted to bring us along and show us, you know, show us how to do it. And At least they're peelers, you know. It could have been worse. Sure <laughs> though. This loop is special because you can put your bait right in here like this and then cinch it down. And that'll hold your bait even better. And we're using this fresh peeler crab and it's like, it's like candy for the strikers. You just gotta get it in the right spot. That's the trick. I'm on one. I told you. Nice, Brandon. Nice. Yeah. That's like seven inches. You think so? Yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen? Seventeen, seventeen. Too small. 
Man, they love the crab, like you said, man. Wanna mm -hmm. try? Very difficult. <laughs> Very difficult to hit that spot because you have a maybe like a 30 to 40 second window mm -hmm. before you have to bring it in or you lose everything. How are we supposed to land something that's like 30? What if we hit a 30? How are we supposed to bring that in? We'll make it happen. I wonder if Cassie's just straight out from here. But they like that. But they like that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I got a bite. It's just so hard because there's so many pillars right in front of me. This is pretty difficult fishing here. It's difficult, but they're all huh? there. Oh, I'm on. You on? Yeah. I told you, bro. I told you. That's my lucky post. Hook junkie putting us on fish. Yeah. There we go. And this, this egg knot loop is working pretty well, too. Look, it's still keeping it on. It's got fresh fish, man. Yeah. What do you got on? It's a three pyramid. Going? Yeah, I'm on. Nice. Baby yeah. Another baby strike. And that was on the arm. On oh, just the arm? Yeah. I need the centerpiece to be hard, so I just, I just, you know, go through there. Uh -huh. My first snag. And I got it out. Nice. Oh. Any time? This is perch. Perch? This is a perch. Or a little tiny stripe. Oh, is that a nice perch? Oh, it's no, a tiny stripe. See in between those? Yeah. If you can get it somewhere in there without getting it all snagged up, you have a, a high chance of hitting a fish. Right. Look at that bend. I know, what if it was like a striped bass, dude? Oh my god. No, no. Why should it be like a black drum? Come on. Come on. You're on? Come on. Oh, nice. You got two hookups at the same time. Oh my god. Oh, it's a big ray. Nice. That looks like, that looks like almost slot. It's an 18. Skate. Big skate. Big skate. Oh, a nice one for you. What do you think that is? Probably about 17. Wow. Whoa, he's running that track. Yeah. Half an inch short? Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> oh. oh my god! Whoa! Look at him flying! He's flying! Whoa! Oh, careful! Yeah, I see that bar. Yep. Alright, there you go. 
Alright, I gotta get fishing. I gotta get fishing. Come on. That's a fat schoolie. Yeah. I wonder what size. Let's give it a measure. Probably 16. 16. 16. This is why you want to wear a glove when you're casting. Because I've casted so much at this point now that it just cut right into my skin. And it's just getting worse every time I, I cast. I want to give a big thank you to Hook Junkie. Uh, if you guys don't know who that is, check him out on Facebook. He goes fishing pretty much every single weekend. He really put us on some fish this week. Follow Hook Junkie. This is Andreas. Look, he's just got on. He's on a fish right now. Don't forget to pick up your trash. Don't forget to pick up your trash. I agree with that. Usually what we like to do is bring a trash bag to every one of our spots so that when we leave, we can put our, not only our own trash, but some of the other trash that we see around the area. Something that I really hate seeing happening is, is a really, really awesome fishing spot being shut down to the public because we can't take care of our spot. We leave trash everywhere and people get mad and they shut it down so no one can fish anymore. These are the kinds of people that ruin the fun for everyone. Don't be one of those kinds of people. Thank you guys for watching. We had an awesome time going out fishing with Hook Junkie here. And the secret trick here, the trick is you need the right bait. I don't think I could have hit him nearly as many with, with my lures that I, that I chose. Uh, simply because the water's moving so fast and there's so many obstacles here, you need something to just stay in one spot. And they seem to absolutely love the peeler crabs. They can't get enough of it. Every species here loves the peeler crab. Um, we hit some big jumbo perch on it. We hit some nice sized stripers. We got a, I think we pulled up a ray too. I mean, it was a, it was a good day. It's a good day. That loop knot, the egg loop knot, I've never tried before, before today. And uh, it actually worked pretty darn well. I, I didn't anticipate it working this well. It actually holds the bait, I think, better than the actual hook going through. Um, it's, like, it's like almost tied around the shank of the hook rather than being on the actual hook. So when the fish inhales the whole thing, it's just, uh, I feel like it's, it stays on better. Uh, I hope this was helpful to anyone who's trying to catch striped bass or anyone who's fishing in the Bay Area or just anyone who's trying to learn how to fish. Here at Hey Skipper, our job is to help as many people get on fish. We're trying to inspire people to get outside. We're trying to raise a responsible generation of fishermen. And if you need any more help, we have a lot of tutorials and eBooks and help books on our website heyskipperfishing.com. Check those out if you want to help support our channel. We also got these brand new hats. If you're interested in trying them on, they're pretty sturdy. They feel great, really good quality. Every penny that, that we get helps by going right back into our channel to teach you guys more. We travel with this. We, we go out and make more videos and teach you guys more and more stuff. So if you want to support our channel, those are great ways to help. I'll see you next week.